What's up, Wayne Baron here with DarkEffects.net, and we are inside 3D Studio Max 2013. It doesn't really matter which version that you're in, hopefully. So let's come over here, and the first thing I want to do is click on uh, Choose Reset. And do you really want to reset and choose yes? Come over here and toggle to get all four views. Um, now what we want to do let's click on the top and we want to go ahead and create the box that is going to be the house and then drag it up and then click now come over here click in the bottom perspective view and then toggle to the bottom perspective view use the center scroll wheel to scroll out hold down the alt key to and the center scroll wheel push it down in order to navigate around or rotate around the object or you can come up here and rotate around the object as well and so the first thing we want to do is that we want to click on it right click convert to editable poly okay and now come over here and choose the edge and click on the edge there hold down the control key and click on edge here now we'll select these two edges come down to our um, edit edges and choose connect and then as you can see it automatically puts a center line down the middle you want to right click and choose move and then drag it up okay holding down the alt key and the pushing down the center mouse allows you to once again rotate around our object here okay get it about right up in here Scroll out a little bit, and now we want to choose the vertex, and then click on each one of the vertex, hold down the control key to select the next one, the next one, and the next one. So that's four vertexes around the corners right here. Come down and choose connect. Okay, and now the next thing we want to do is choose our polygon, and then select the top, and that should have selected just the top, that's what we want. Try that again, and there we go. Okay, so now what we want to do is that we want to come over here and choose the settings of the extrude. Don't just click on extrude, but click on the settings button right beside it. And that will bring it up. And now let's bring it down a little bit to about right up in here. And... Okay, and let's check it and now there we go see that's what we want is that we want to have a nice um, wide enough area going around the sides now select this one hold on the alt key come down to the other side hold down control key select the other one come to the center come over here to our our extrude and click on settings and as you can see it extruded it out a little bit for us now we want to bring it out to about right up in here click on ok and then grab a hold of our blue arrow and drag it down depending on how sharp you want it that should do it about right up in there okay and then the next thing that we want to do is well no nah, that's basically it that right there is how you put a roof on top of a house so the next part we're going to do is that we're going to remove the roof from the house in our next lesson. All right, Wayne Barron, darkfix.net. Y'all have a rocking week. Bye-bye.